My name is Jose Madrid. Yasmin yeah, Serrato Munoz. DJ Wise. April Eubank. Clement Chow. Francisco Gutierrez. Malik Stevens. Julian Sesma. Donna Melissa Hernandez. Charles Deacon. Dan Galloway. Taylor Marie Rudolph. Santiago Carvajal. I remember the day that I got the infamous small packet <laughs> from Georgetown. It was a small envelope. <clears throat> and I opened it. And the word congratulations, <laughs> welcome to the class of 2014, had never seemed like a more beautiful sight to me. <laughs> um, and my mother and I went home that night. She picked me up from high school and we went home. And she cried and she cried. She literally cried for about half an hour and she hugged me. I remember we were standing in the kitchen and she embraced me in her arms. And then I took a step back and I looked her in the eyes and I said, Mom, th this is the American dream. This is when the son of two immigrants in this country can pursue his dreams and go to the school that one of our U.S. presidents went to. What is the message that you want to give to others? The message I guess I would give to others is work hard and again, don't forget where you come from because where we come from is who is what makes us. So we all have a story. We all, we've all done something and it shapes us. So I, I guess my message would be do not forget whether your experiences, own them pretty much. Don't, don't be a victim, be a hero. What advice would you give to incoming GSP freshmen or future generations of GSPers to make the most of this college experience? Definitely appreciate every moment that you have here at Georgetown and take every opportunity that you can. And just appreciate the fact that you're here and a lot of other people don't have this opportunity. Um, and so live it up, you know, you only have four years here. At some point, it becomes absurd to stress over something. You can only control what you can control. And it's important to stress about what you can control, but at some point, things get outside of your range, and then all you can just do is just take what you got and go with it. It's not just about like being able to like properly execute. It's also about having the mental fortitude to stand up when you do fail. And I think like if there's any time to experiment with that, experiment with like how many hours a week can you work without going cuckoo, but so that you're like at your optimal and like experiment with like what you can actually do. I mean, I failed at so many like things at Georgetown and sometimes it sucks so bad, but like the ability to bounce back is so important, not just for Georgetown, but in life, it keeps you going. It's our stories that, you know, that change uh, minds and change lives and um, it, it, it should be always our priority to share those stories and always make sure that we're proud of our stories and never feel embarrassed or shy about them. We should always speak in first person, never in third. Um, and again, I would suggest and encourage all those incoming freshmen um, that once they can overcome their insecurities, because you know naturally they, they, they are insecurities that we all share, I think that they can learn how, how, um, um, how much of a difference they can make by by just sharing their stories very openly, but you know, you know, speaking from their hearts and knowing that um, wherever they go, that they will be uh, a leader and uh, will be making a difference in the world. Just like start thinking about what you want to do next at Georgetown, because a lot of times people think like the goal is to get a degree. Nah, a lot of times people think the goal is to get a job. Nah, like is to end up where you want to be in life, like where, where it's going to make you most happy. So like from freshman year, you just kind of, where do I want to be in life? And how is my degree and the job that I get after graduation, whatever else I do after graduation, how is it going to help me get there? I visit Georgia in April 2008, and I feel this peace come upon me on that, in that moment. And it's not like something comes upon me, but there's a peace in my heart. I'm like, this is the place I'm meant to choose. And my mother came to help me move in. And before she left, she just like, she held me and she just shook me. She's like, you deserve to be here. What do you think the college, a college degree from Georgetown can do for a family? Well, it, it, it can do almost anything, almost anything that degree holder wants, really. I mean, it, there, it's a limitless opportunity. Um, and uh, really the question is, what directions does the student take it?
these kids that we're admitting have the ability and the tenacity to to make the, to make make the grade, and they don't have to measure it by getting a 4.0. I mean, mm -hmm. they they can measure it simply by graduating, really. But 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 I do think that they need to understand that we believe implicitly in their ability. There is a the, lot of pressure yes. here to succeed, but there's you it's don't as, have yeah. to be the best. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have to be the best, you can take risks that you couldn't take when mm -hmm. you were expected to always succeed. What's the value of a college degree, or this college degree, I should say? The value of my college degree, I mean, it's, it's priceless. Um, all the things that I've learned, all the people that I've met, the friendships that I've created, I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't put a value on that.